any second from now. At this point, I also want to ask TK Motors and to come forward, please. Asata Trading also to come forward. We now witness the arrival of the Inspector General of Police, Mr. Hey. Ture. Good morning, sir. You send those parade form up. Ready for your takeover, sir. Send it! Ace! Steve. Thank you, DID. Welcome, Inspector General of Police, Sidi Mukhtar Ture. And also, we want to recognize the presence of representatives from TK Motors and also Asata Trading, who will today, this morning, hand over this vehicle before us to the Gandhi Police Force. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the Inspector General of Police, Deputy Inspector General of Police, the AIG is here present, Senior Police Commissioners here present, and all the officers here present this morning. It is indeed an honor and a privilege to stand before you this morning to yet again witness another very important milestone in the transformation of the Gandhi Police Force. Before us today, we will witness the official handing over of no less than nine vehicles, two of which are referred to as Buffaloes, Toyota Land Cruisers, and also two L200 pickups. Seven of those will be handed over to the Gambia Police Force by the Gambia government, supplied by TK Motors and Asata Trading. We are aware, it has always been the case, that transformation takes a lot of time, but we are aware that a lot of efforts are behind the scene to ensure that the, transformation, the transportation system of the Gambia Police Force because we do know transportation is key, is a very important backbone of every security institution and the Gambia Police Force is no exception. And for this reason, today we are here to witness another very significant milestone in the history of the Gambia Police Force. However, this is not the first time we are gathered since, since the arrival or the assumption of the Inspector General of Police, Sid Mukhtar Fruri, as the Inspector General of Police. In the recent past, we had similar at PIU. And today, it's a very remarkable day to be here again and witness such. That will be the beginning of many more to come. Before we get into the program proper, with your permission, sir, I want us to take a minute and observe our prayers in our own ways, please. In your prayers, please. Amen. Thank you very much for everybody for coming, for all invited guests, our suppliers, our partners, the National Assembly member for Talendi Musabaji, who's also here with us, our development partners, senior officers here, and our colleagues and friends, the media who are always been there supporting the Gambia Police Force in ensuring that our activities are shared with the public. And today, this morning, we will witness the official handing over of nine vehicles by the government through our suppliers, TK Motors and Asata Trading. The program goes as follows. We will have a statement by Asata Trading, then we'll have another statement by TK Motors, then we'll have a statement by the Inspector General of Police. Thereafter, we'll have the symbolic handing over of the vehicles by way of handing the keys. Then we will have the inspection by the senior management, the supplier of the vehicles, and that brings us to the end of the program. At this point, I want to invite a certain representative, Mr. Sinate, 
to make a statement, please. Mr. Senior, please. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, IGB today, representative from the Ministry of Interior Advisors. Good morning. The entire management and staff of the Gambia Police Force, on behalf of the entire management and staff of Asada Investment, I would like to express our deepest appreciation to the Gambia Police Force for your unwavering trust and support over the past three years. It has been a privilege to work with such a dedicated and professional organization. We would like to have an opportunity to deliver the vehicles that you have acquired from us, and we are committed to continue to provide top-note product and service to support the important work you do. Every single day we keep us safe. We would like to extend our gratitude to the former Inspector General of Police, Ablai Sainan, for his invaluable support during the beginning of our partnership. Additionally, we would like to extend our special thanks to the current Inspector General of Police, Mr. Sidin Tarpule, for his support and understanding continued commitment to our company, all the way from the Gambia Immigration Department to the Gambia Police Board. Furthermore, to the entire management and staff of the Gambia Police Force, we would like to express our sincere gratitude, our unwavering support, your unwavering support and professionalism and dedication are truly commendable. We would like to forward to many, many more years of collaboration. Once, once again, thank you for your, for, thank you for your trust and confidence you have placed us. We are honored to be partner to, to be partner of the Gambia Police Force. They made commitment straightforward. Our partnership in future and would hope that these vehicle are able to serve their needs and beyond all expectation. Thank you all. Thank you. Um, this uh, vehicle uh, specifically from uh, is made for Africa and is diesel engine six cylinder, and the vehicles are 2024, and the warranty is three years warranty, engine warranty, and also. We will give you service free for 15,000 kilometers. And also, we would like you to respect the maintenance and everything. Thank you very much, Ivy. Thank you for your support. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Singh, on behalf of Asada Investment. I think we are more than happy to, to know that we have three year guarantee uh, and also 15,000 kilometers service before that we were doing this service for us we are grateful thank you so very much uh, at this moment we want to invite um tk motors representative to make a statement please good morning ladies and gentlemen uh, i'd like to thank i would like to take this opportunity to uh to thank the inspector general of police and the entire uh, members of uh, the Gambia police staff and the uh, Ministry of Interior and the rest of the Gambia police force and the Gambia government. I'd like to thank them for them to put their trust in TK Motors and to, uh, for them to acquire these vehicles uh, from us and uh, I hope that these vehicles would, would serve for the purposes which have been purchased uh, for for the use and, I could, and uh, you could see the vehicles they're all the model of 2024 and the uh, engine of them are all uh, diesel engines all what we require is for them to be maintained properly and to take care of them and they will serve for quite a while a long way and uh, I hope I wish them all the best of luck for the for the use of uh, these vehicles and once again, thank you very much for the Inspector General of Police to put his trust again for TK Motors. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The representative for the TK Motors also highlighting the fact that these are 2024 uh, version or model of, of vehicles that are durable and are suitable for our condition here. And thank you so very much. At this moment, I would want to invite the Inspector General of Police, Sidi Mukhtar to make a statement. I give it, please. <clears throat> you know, I'd like using it like this. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
The Deputy Inspector General of Police, Mr. Momo Duso, AIG for Crime Management, Alaji Demba, AIG for Admin, Ibrahim Abba, Operations Assistant Inspector General, Mr. Pate Yalo, the Commissioner for Banjo Region, CP Aminyasi, Senior Commissioners here present, Senior Police Officers, Mr. Musa Musa representing TK Motors, my own brother, Ansu Singate representing Asata Trading, Ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. I am delighted to welcome you to police headquarters this beautiful September morning. We are gathered here to commission nine brand new vehicles that will be added to the fleet of Gambia Police Force. When I assume, when I assume office, to be precise, March 15, 2024, one of the first things I noticed was the limited number of motor vehicles at police stations police post, the police intervention unit, anti-crime basis, and even here at the police headquarters. Now, to police any country effectively, you need to adequately resource, you need adequate resource and logistics. Well-trained officers need computers to prepare operational plans and reports. Patrol officers need well-oiled and well-kept patrol vehicles to police the streets, safeguard life and property, and to keep the bad guys at, away. In short, it's a way of effective prevention of crime. It has been proven that proactive policing is the most effective form of policing. If we are able to prevent crimes, then we won't need many resources to detain offenders, much less arraign them before competent courts of law. Again, if we can minimize the number of convicts, then the state won't have to provide feeding, medical care, appropriate housing for the prisoners. All that funds will be required to take care of affirmation needs could be allocated to more proactive sectors of our economy. That was just to contextualize things for us, and we appreciate how we got here this morning. Earlier stated, I observed the dire need of, for police vehicles, and I'm sure you will agree that vehicles are a most hard for effective policing in modern times. Several factors make this necessary. Paramount among them is population growth and the attendant expansion of our communities. Policing by you to Basse in the 70s is unlike 2024. We need to cover wider areas of responsibility and much more sophisticated equipments are needed. That naturally warrants police officers to modernize operations with the introduction of motor vehicle patrols and again, don't get me wrong, because other forms of patrols like foot, bicycle, and motorbikes are still in use. The importance of motor vehicles in policing cannot be overemphasized. Mobility is a mission critical to effective policing. Through vehicular patrol, police officers can cover more ground and longer distances without expending much more energy. Response time to calls for police assistance will be shortened and quicker than when officers have to walk or ride on a bicycle to crime scenes for, to perform their duties. These vehicles couldn't have come at a more opportune time for us. You are aware that rains make most of our inner city roads treacherous and nearly impassable. With these four-wheel drive vehicles, officers can easily access remote parts of the Gambia to police the communities and keep, keep criminals at bay. The vehicles will be distributed to all the seven administrative regions of the country to ensure equitable access to policing services for all Gambians. True to Gambia Police Force mission, which reads to provide an excellent service, protecting and serving the people of this country. The strategic, tactical, and operational level of Gambia Police Force are committed more than ever to serve the good people of this country, likewise residents of this country. With the limited budget at our disposal, we have, to, we have succeeded in procuring this vehicle. I would like to use this opportunity to thank His Excellency the President of the Republic, Mr. Adam Abaro, the government, and also the Minister for Finance and Economic Affairs, Mr. Sidi Keita, for providing the funds to buy these vehicles. 
We are profoundly grateful to members of the National Assembly Standing Committee for Defense and Security, especially the Deputy Speaker, who is the Chair, for supporting our request to get this land cruiser, Buffaloes, as well as the Peacocks. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, I would be remiss if I don't thank the men and women of Gambia Police Force who are on the front line under the scorching sun, in the dark alleys, and heavy rains to ensure the law abiding citizens and residents of this beautiful country travel to work, operate legitimate business, and go home to sleep in peace. Again, you will agree that without the sacrifice of these gallant men and women in uniform, criminals will not let us be. Therefore, our properties will not be safe and secure. I want you to join me in saluting them for their courage, their selfless service and patriotism. Officers, yours is an honorable job, and you should be proud of yourself. I am aware that it comes with considerable risk to your limbs and your families by extension, but you are not faced at all. Every morning, you shoot up and show up for your country without fear of the dangers out there. The senior management of Gambia Police Force is grateful to you and your families, who let you serve your country despite all these eminent dangers. One thing is clear to me, though, Gambians appreciate the marvelous job you are doing, despite the limited resources at your disposal. I did have some private conversations with individual citizens and public officials who speak highly of your dedication to duty, encourage you to keep it up and walk with your soldiers held high. To the criminals, we will be coming through every nook and cranny of this country to fish you out, and we won't rest until we vanquish you. I would like to conclude by entreating the recipients of this vehicle to take good care of them and ensure they last for the longest. On that note, thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much, Inspector General of Police, Siti Mukhtar, for their there, highlighting the significance of today. And also congratulating and recognizing the support received during the course of procuring, ensuring that the Gambia Police Force, from the President of the Report of the Gambia to the Ministers responsible and also members of Parliament. Most importantly, also the Inspector General of Police highlighted the very importance of ensuring that these vehicles will be utilized accordingly and it's going to be across the country, all the seven regions. But also to let the criminals know that we are coming, especially with this force, and we will do everything possible in our capacity to ensure that this country is safe, that there is no place for any criminal in this country. We thank you very much, Thank you. Thank you. At this moment, we would want to invite, um, we start with Asata, the symbolic handing over of the vehicles to the Inspector General of Police by handing over the keys. Asata rep, then TK Motors. Thereafter, we will proceed with the inspection of the vehicles. And the, the media crew would join us during that. Thank you very much, um, Asada. Thank you very much. We now invite representative of TK Modus for the official. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, our suppliers. Thank you very much, our collaborators. At this moment, we would want to 
allowed Inspector General of Police, the senior management, and the suppliers, and our guests to inspect the vehicles. I introduce into the vehicle. This is one of the seven L200 pickups. Okay. 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 So this is just one of the service, then we move into the other one, the other set of the other type. Yes, and the same, so we are moving to the other type. That's the good volume. So <laughs> this <laughs> I I I Prayers, closing prayers, please. Then, Bismillah. Bismillah. Amen. Allah Barakah. Thank you very much for coming, senior officers. Thank you so very much.